and current state of the art technique. Its name is integer arithmetic coding. It's it works as arithmetic coding with but with some upgrades, some modifications. So we are given with probabilities and symbols and some m parameter m. Uh, we, in this technique, the interval is easier to compute because of these steps. Rescale in the interval and underflow expansion of the interval. We will rescale the interval if the higher threshold of the interval is smaller than m divided by 2 and lower, bigger than m divided by 2. And the condition for the underflow expansion is if this big condition, okay, this is m divided by 4, is smaller or equal to n, greatly smaller than oh, And this is the condition for underflow expansion. So, integer arithmetic coding is a very long and hard, one of the hardest algorithm in this series of the videos. It's also called V and C. And uh, we are going to go through the six steps. So we start with the interval L and H, low and high, and the underflow count zero. We check underflow expansion, which shall hold this inequality in the red Yeah, uh, if this inequality holds, we increment our k and uh, update the interval. We check also two conditions of under uh, of rescaling. If high, uh, if the high limit of the interval is smaller than m divided by two, if yes, we update it and update the interval and add zero one. To the code stream, uh, it means that we add zero and k once. If k two, we add two once, one zero and two once. We also check the other side of rescaling. It's when the lower threshold of the interval is bigger than m divided by two. We replace the interval by the following formula: 0.4. Uh, if all the symbols are encoded, we check L and the add corresponding things. And the each next symbol is uh, encoded by the formula. I think it's clear what's written here. This thing, this strange thing, uh, means floor. All right. If you don't understand arithmetic coding, I highly recommend you to start from pure there is arithmetic coding because this theme is harder than the arithmetic coding. It includes it. So, let's start. We have to encode this sequence and we have uh, such probabilities 0 0.6, 0 0.3 and 0 0.1. Okay, uh, next symbol is A, right? Thus we produce 0 plus, according to the formula. This is nothing but working according to the formula. It will become 0. Okay. Lower interval is determined by previous lower interval plus symbols up to symbol we are encoding. No symbols have been seen up to A because it's the first symbol in our ordinary. Thus we produce this interval for now. Okay, we don't have to, we check uh, rescaling and underflow expansion conditions but uh, in, not in our case yet. Thus we use 16 here. 
Okay, next symbol is B. So we produce new L is probabilities up to B multiplied by the equals five. Now it's time for the rescaling because our high higher threshold uh, is smaller or equal than m divided by two. Okay, next operation is we just multiply it by two and uh, produce new bits zero because our k is zero, right? You remember that? Okay. Then now it's condition for another scaling because our lower threshold is bigger than half of n. We do this, right? Or sixteen. We produce new bits. K is zero. All right. Next, now we can go to the next symbol. It's a. We recalculate four plus We used previous L lower threshold plus this uh, what corresponds to the symbols probabilities of the symbols up to a, this is zero, no symbols before a, uh, multiplied by higher bound minus lower bound, this is four. Actually, you don't have to even understand what's happening here. You just have to follow the formulas and that's it, plug in the numbers, follow the formulas, nothing more than that. Okay, produce four plus zero point six multiply it 16 minus 4 I think now it's condition for something yes now we're in condition for the underflow expansion, so okay, we encode in the file. And uh, later just some readjustments with our interval. Okay. First rescaling. I will just pr uh, plug in numbers. New bits here because we had under phone counter one. And uh, thus we produce one zero, counter is zero again. 
uh, next. Once again, we are outside out. Zero eight one zero. All right, and we have run out of space, but uh, yeah, I will try to plug it in. We didn't stop rescaling and underflow expansions even after we encoded the last symbol. We have to prepare and leave our interval in a condition the algorithm demands. Here once again zero. Two little space. Uh, once uh, it's sixteen. Zero. Nothing. Okay. And to produce the final code we have this last condition checked, uh, we add 0, 1 to the variant. If you gather all the new bits I produced in this column, sorry, I have erased it to produce some space for us. You have to gather all of them consequently and then at the variant add this last 0, 1 or what you produce in your certain case. And this is the encoding part. So for the decoding we use this and we have some uh, new variables specific to integer arithmetic decoding scheme. We'll use W which is determined by this formula. Uh, we have V which is determined by uh, how many bits we will use from the given binary number we are decoding which is determined by the formula presented here. There is no need to really understand what is V and what is W. We will just use the formulas and plug in numbers. Okay, first we calculate V. So N for V will be 4 according to this formula. 2 in which power is M? M is 16 so it's 4. Thus we use first 4 bits from here we decode by the representation of this number, this is 6, right? We plug in everything here and produce 4. Then we look at this 4 and look in, in which specific place in the given interval this point corresponds to. It corresponds to letter A because we are, interval, we are inside the interval from 0 to 6. 4 e is inside this interval, thus our symbol is A. To update L and H we will use the same formulas as from the encoding scheme. I think you can try to decode it yourself, but I'm helping you here. W, new W, B is inside new interval from 6 to 9, so 7 is B. We also check the underflow conditions and rescaling conditions. This is the... without it uh, you are performing not the right version of the algorithm. Uh, underflow conditions and rescaling conditions are crucial, absolutely essential part of the algorithm. On the last step we have produced the interval which corresponds to the rescaling condition. We rescale our interval and thus we also uh, will rescale V plus the next bit. Next bit is 1 from here and uh, in rescaling we multiply v by 2 we produce 13. Here a new l is produced, new h is produced according to the formulas from here. Um, when we have rescaled our interval we didn't update, we didn't do anything with w because we have worked with the interval and on our current step we have produced the numbers here after the rescaling uh, in such manner that they also have to be rescaled but in another way. So a new interval will be four, six. 
16, right? And we also have to work with V. It's 13 multiplied by 2 minus 16, the same as here, plus the next bit. The next bit is 0, right? Uh, it will become 10. Okay. I will clean up a little bit because we have run out of space. We have prepared our interval for future works with him and uh, we will now decode next symbol.